Hey everyone, so I thought I would do just a quick update, um, probably today more about my fitness. Um, so I'm still walking 50 kilometers a week, sometimes more now, sometimes I'm up to about 70, so that would be roughly 30 miles a week up to about 40, 45 miles a week. Um, and I kind of break that up, usually about two hours a day. Um, and then I do tend to kind of walk more in the morning, so, you know, like probably about seven, seven and a half kilometers in the morning and then maybe a short walk at night. Um, I did wear like a step counter for a while, but now I really don't really need to per se, like I kind of know how much I'm doing and how my body feels, but it was a really helpful thing in the beginning. Um, it was like a little wear fit, um, which is a lot cheaper than a Fitbit. Um, but I knew it wasn't something I would use all the time because I really don't like wearing jewelry, <laughs> which is funny because I, I make jewelry sometimes, but I, I don't like to wear it. Um, but it was good to kind of just get the gist of how much I was doing and that. And then, you know, it's the odd day, though, if I want to kind of clock out a walk, like if I'm going to go somewhere new, just to kind of see how far it is, I'll wear it. But, um, but yeah, quite. I was really happy with it, though, and you can do, like, your blood pressure and all that stuff. Anyways, <laughs> so, so that's my product, my product pushing, although I'm not sponsored in any way. Um, like I say, I just found it was really helpful to start just to kind of get on track. Um, I've also added... Um, resistance bands into my routine so I'm also doing a lot of upper body with the resistance bands um, and about I don't know the end of June I sprained my ankle when I got back from Ontario I was just really tired and jet-lagged and I probably shouldn't have been out hiking the next day when I didn't have proper sleep and I did anyway and so I ended up spraining my ankle and then I really pushed it and then I sprained it again and so then I went for physio and I just got done physio the beginning of this week um, where he did like um, a lots of uh, the IMS again, so like the needles, but just on my tendon this time. My hip is 100%, thank God, <laughs> which is wonderful. Um, it is nice to be mobile again. Um, and now I'm kind of dealing with upper body pain just because I've been doing a lot of shoulders and like, well, it was just like a couple of weeks ago, I noticed that like my triceps were really wiggly, although they're almost, they're already better, but they're still like kind of, uh, I was like, oh my God, I can't, no, I got to do something about that. So, I mean, it's part of getting older, but I mean, you can fight it a little bit, right? Um, and so, yeah, I added that in. Um, I've also been doing a lot of core exercises. That's also part of my physio um, because he was saying a lot of the reason why I'm spraining my ankles too is because kind of my body doesn't really know where it is physically in the universe, you know what I mean? Like, because technically people that are fit don't sprain their ankles that much because their body corrects it before it even happens you know what I mean like and it's just the fact that I don't have the core strength to actually you know well it's getting better but, <laughs> but anyways the way he explained it was the core strength helps out a lot but anyways I'm sure you guys know more about that stuff than I do I know a lot of people on here um, you know have, has quite a big medical background so Anyways, that's my journey there. Um, food, I'm probably eating, I don't know, usually roughly around 1,800 calories a day. I mean, there's the odd day I go over. I know today I'm going to go over for sure because I had hash browns for breakfast because I really didn't want to get out of bed. I was like one of those days. I was just so physically tired. And it's just been kind of a weird week for me. So I kind of started the week out with... Um, pretty heightened psych psychic energy and then psychic burnout and then psychic energy and then psychic burnout. Um, so I've been doing a lot physically to kind of counteract that and now I'm kind of just really physically tired. So now other than the hash brown cheat and a nap this morning uh, <laughs> and lots and lots and lots of water, I've just kind of pushed my exercise a little bit later in the day. Normally I've already been for my walk and back by now, but today it's going to be a little bit later, but that's okay. I might go to the beach or something. I haven't really decided yet which direction I'm going to go yet. Um, but there's lots of options around here, which is nice. And, um, yeah, other than that, everything's on track. Um, you know, it, it's normal to kind of have, like, right now, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I have, like, a little bit of shoulder pain from the tension bands. And, of course, I've dealt with probably about four sprained ankles in the course of this weight loss journey, um, which I'm at 45 pounds lost now. Um, I think it's been about a year and a half. I don't know. I, I have a hard time. Like, I wish I could just write things down like most people do. I just, I don't. Like, I'm not one of those people that's sentimental, but I should, um, you know, just for the fake, you know, 
to actually like say how long it actually took me. I'm sure I could find it somewhere. I'm sure somewhere in one of my videos it kind of said when I started because it was pretty close when I first started this YouTube channel that I started my weight loss journey. So somewhere around there anyway. So I think it's about a year and a half. I'm at 45 pounds and I would like to lose about another 20 pounds. So I guess I'm three quarters of the way done which is awesome. Um, and I'm feeling stronger, like I say, and I've also had some pain, some injuries, and you know, it kind of switches around, it's just part of it. Um, I mean, I'm sure I could have lost a lot faster if I, you know, up the intensity, but I probably would have had more injuries to deal with. Um, and you know, and also I don't like to starve, like, at all. <laughs> I like food. I mean, I, I can eat really clean. Um, I do like fruits and vegetables, so that makes it kind of easy. I mean, I have like the odd thing I cheat on, though, because I mean, when you're in it for the long haul, I mean, it's just, you know, you gotta, you gotta have the things you want to, or you're gonna go nuts. Um, so I've been doing that, which has been great. Um, and yeah, and I pretty much, I don't really need to count my calories per se. I mean, I kind of know roughly what I'm eating. Cause I'm kind of at that point where I just, you know, I've been doing it so long that it's just habit and it just happens to be the way I eat now. It's not, um, you know, it's not hard. Um, and then same, like with the walking, I had like the wear fit at first and now I kind of just know when I'm at like, you know, kind of, I know when I've walked 10 kilometers in a day and I know when I've walked more than that. And that's generally what I shoot for is about, you know, over 10, between 10 and 15 every day. So, and that's worked out really well too. So anyways, that's just my fitness update and uh, my energy levels. <laughs> and I really just wanted to say hi. I want to start making videos more consistently. So I'm sorry this isn't that interesting. Um, and my next video, maybe I'll try and do like a before and after picture for like the weight loss. Um, I just don't have them. Like I know they're like my mom's got lots of pictures of me, so maybe I'll go get that. I'm just not big on like selfies and stuff, which is funny because I don't mind doing videos and I don't mind casting, but it's like to actually sit and take a picture of myself just feels really awkward. So it's not something I do very often. So it's usually other people own pictures of me. Um, so anyways, I will track that down and. The next time I do a fitness update, which I plan to be more regular with now that I've got this set up. Um, so yeah, that, I'll show you a before and after, even though I'm not quite done, but I think it's probably more like, I don't know, like for myself, I kind of like watching people kind of that are in the middle of their weight loss too, because you know what I mean? You, you, there's things you forget once you get to the finish line, you know what I mean? Like. Things like little aches and pains that you freaking deal with, or injuries you've got to get over, or strategies you've got to come up with to kind of, you know, still get your exercise in in a day, and, and even though you're tired, you know what I mean? Like, things like that. So I kind of find it more valuable right now, like, when I watch people that are at that point. And, then, you know, probably once I'm through it, I'll probably enjoy people that are post-weight loss, you know what I mean? Because you kind of look for people that are kind of where you're at right now. Um, anyways, so I hope you all have a good day. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or you want me to do more videos like this, I probably will do more videos like this anyway. Um, and if you're not interested in this subject, don't worry about it. I mean, I know I kind of do a, a couple of different things here and probably going to be spreading that wider too. Um, so have a great day everyone and I'll talk to you soon.